All right, today I will test floor mats in Tesla Model 3. So this is somewhat important if you live in country with winter like Norway, because in winter, okay, you should try to avoid it, but you will always pull in a little bit of snow inside the car and then it melts and then it takes forever to dry in the floor mats. So with the original floor mats, you usually get in other cars, uh, the fabric ones, uh, they take forever to dry and they could actually add some smell inside the car. So I highly recommend you to get some kind of waterproof rubber mats or something. So behind me here, I have five different sets. Some of them are the full set with also trunk and frunk. Some of them are just uh, for interior. So we're gonna check them out. So I made a list of uh, all the specs beforehand. I checked the weight of all this by actually weighing it, not checking the specs on it. Uh, so let me take a look here. So the first set here is from, uh, Bilex button. It's the cheapest one. Only 890 uh, nook for for the interior. Uh, you have it. These sponsors for the interior. It's rubber. And also, well, but the, the downside is that this is the by far the heaviest set. And they also have for the trunk and frunk. So the cheapest option. But and this material is uh, uh, latex. Yeah, you want to have that in your car. And one thing I should check is that it doesn't make any so much smells. But let's let's check that once we are inside the car. So you see this one. Oh, was this? Oh, I forgot to remove this one. But okay, uh, let me see. Is the, will that cause a problem? No. Okay, no big deal. All right. So that's the Bilex button, the cheapest one, but also the heaviest one. Uh, Next set here is this one, which is from Gitis. So Gitis, they have lots of accessories for Tesla. And it comes in two variants. They are exactly the same, these two. Uh, it's the gray and the black one. And this is a bit different because it's fabric and they claim it's waterproof. Yeah, so we're gonna test that also, see how waterproof they are, how repellent they are. So, and also you see on this side here, for the drivers, you have this metal piece, uh, which should be really durable with some rubber on top of it. Hmm, and this one also covers the dead pedal. You will see that uh, the one from Bilex button does not cover the dead pedal. Uh, this one is the same, just black, just like the previous one. Uh, so some kind of water repellent uh, surface, yeah. We're gonna test that. And then the next one, well, by the way, I should mention that these two here are really light. Yeah, they are comparable. Let me check the list here. I check the, all the weight for these, and um, I also weighed the, the Tesla original fabric one that comes with the car. So the Tesla's original is two kilos, and these are also two kilos, so they can match the weight of those if it matters, yeah. Uh, next one here is the really badass, uh, which is uh, 3D Max Spider. It's the most expensive one, yeah. Uh, but it has this weird carbon fiber look, uh, texture, and also has an edge there, so that's good. And they are also really light. Uh, it depends, uh, it's not as light as this one, but uh, this one does not have that uh, trunk and trunk cover. So um, this one also has trunk and trunk, and when you count these, it will actually be the lightest in the, in the whole test. So again here, same texture here, like here. And then we have the next, uh, which is this from uh, Gutis again, but this is not the, you see this is just the cheaper, cheaper, the second the cheapest variant, just some <laughs> rubber, uh, yeah, it doesn't look very premium, but again, if you just want something cheap, then you can go for this one. And you see that uh, it's slightly different than the other ones that we have seen in the past, well actually except for that one from Bilex pattern, which is that, uh, actually no, no, oh, all those other ones, they have one single piece for the rear, Whereas this one is split in two uh, and it's joined like this. So uh, we're gonna see how it looks like inside the car. Yeah, it's also somewhat heavy, this set. And then the last set I will show you is Tesla's original set. Uh, also, the front is somewhat heavy. And uh, what is different with, with Tesla's set is that uh, it doesn't seem to be from the same manufacturer because you recognize these. This is actually WeatherTech. If you look under here, you will see that this is from WeatherTech. They just 
branding it as Tesla. And you know, these trunk and frunk pieces are very light if you care about that one. Uh, they are more or less the same as the one you find for Model S and X, but they've been tailored for Model 3. So these are the WeatherTech, but this is different. So it's some, some heavy duty rubber thingy with this, this kind of styling. Uh, so we'll see also what that looks like inside the car. And also just like the previous set we saw here, this one also has a split here, but the split seems to be nicer. So, okay, let's uh, try the cheapest one first then. Okay, this is the first set for the driver. So it's the cheapest one from Belex pattern. It has nice styling, nothing flashy. Uh, it doesn't cover the dead pedal. And you see the surface here? It has, uh, under here, it has these uh, rubber dots to prevent uh, the mat from sliding. Oops, sorry for that. Uh, so it seems to help, yeah. Uh, the only downside is that it has no edge here. So you see the floor on the Model 3 is shaped like this, unlike S and X, which is flat. So water will eventually, I mean, snow could melt here and then it will run down here. And if you have too much, it could go over the line there. Yeah, and then you have water inside here, which will take much longer to dry out. So, all right, let's check out the other ones. The next one is from Gittis, the rubber, the cheap one. Uh, second to cheapest looks like this again uh, pretty okay styling yeah not too flashy there is some letters here stingray or whatever yeah and then it says there's a model 3 okay so okay styling uh, this one has uh, a cover for the dead pedal so that's good but again this one also has that lack of edge so if you have too much water then it won't work but if as long as you're you know you know what to do in winter and avoid too much water it will still work for you and as for anti-slip okay this one also has some kind of dots here under here to prevent the the floor mat from slipping so seems okay yes okay this is tesla's original mats looks like this so nice little uh, Tesla logo there. Yeah, barely visible, not too flashy. I like it. Uh, also nice styling, especially this one goes well in hand with uh, the dead pedal here. No, it doesn't cover the dead pedal, but the whole styling seems to fit better, unlike the other ones. Uh, uh, and again, this one also doesn't have that high edge. So again, it depends how you, <laughs> how, how, how good discipline you have in winter and un unlike the other ones i have in the sample uh, this one is used that's why it's a little bit dirty but you still get the idea uh, one thing i do like about the tesla is that it has these dots for anti-slip but it also has several vel velcro points here to further secure the mat from uh, from sliding so as long as it's mounted in there then most likely it won't slide so yes that's good the next one is from Gutis, so I think I will just test the black. I realized that the, the gray will look really awkward in this car. Uh, I don't know if any, any car would, would fit gray, yeah. So we'll just test the black one. Uh, so it has a nice shape, uh, perfect fit. Uh, I like this one, and this nice touch here. It gives you the, the feeling that it, ha it has good build quality. Uh, some, some leather, I'm not sure if this is fake leather or whatever. Uh, and it also has cover for the dead pedal. That's good. It doesn't go all the way up there, but it doesn't matter because most of the time you will just you will be looking at the car from this angle. You know, you will never really go that low to see it. Uh, and it also has this metal piece here, like I mentioned, for uh, just for durability because most of your feet will be resting around here. So that's good. And you see, this is the first one we see in this test, which has a high edge. So it can take a lot of water without, yeah, without uh, going over the edge. So that's always good. Uh, <laughs> you can be really clumsy with this one and you will still not spill over. Um, and let me check here, okay. And then, so you have the texture here. Um, actually doesn't scream too much attention i also like it it goes well with the car uh, and because you see this one has um it covers the dead pedal so it doesn't break with the whole design it just covers over that one so it will still look okay if you go for this one and 
I like it that it's um, it's fabric. You know, when I asked my wife, she prefers the fabric. So I'm like, okay, but we want, we need something waterproof. So this might be wa uh, wifey approved. This one. Uh, and if you see under here, when it comes to non-slip surface, it doesn't have that rubber thing. It doesn't have Velcro, but it has this um, this kind of. It's a little bit uncomfortable to touch. It's this surface with lots of tiny needles almost that will prevent the it will grip on this surface and prevent it from sliding so it works just as well as the other surfaces yeah you see once it stays there it stays there it won't move so wow i i like this one but it's somewhat expensive the last one is from max spider 3d so it looks like this now this one doesn't have that uh, funky edge like the previous one but you know I think it doesn't matter it just blends in with the rest of the car and also it has a cover for the dead pedal and again because we cover that part then then the texture here doesn't break with the rest of the design so I like it it has this wow carbon fiber look or something mm. and also this one is not too uh, flashy compared to the previous one from Gutis and it also helps you uh, prevent uh, I guess the surface from being too much worn down so that's good uh, and the one thing I don't like is this the 3d logo here so some people they use uh, some kind of black color to just make it tone it down a little bit because you can see that it's very flashy every time you want to enter and exit the car you will see that 3d thing so um, if I would keep this, I don't really know what to do with it. But, um, uh, and of course, I have to keep the plastic on. Just like true Asian, every Asian will always keep the plastic, the protective plastic here on until they sell it or throw it away. Yes. <laughs> okay, um, now this one also, just like the Beauties, has a high edge. I like it. I think it's it's a requirement in Nordic countries. I guess if you don't live in the Nordic countries, um, then it doesn't matter. But to me, it's very important. And as for non-slip surface uh, under here, it's also the similar uh, surface. What is this? Uh, whatever. Yeah. Also has that similar surface as the Gutis. So some kind of hard, uh, hard, almost un unpleasant to touch. But on this, on the under the roof i mean the, the floor there it will just stick and it will not move so that is well done and when it comes to the surface uh, again i mentioned that my wife prefer the fabric and maybe she's not too fan she doesn't like that rubber that much but this one kind of feels like fabric you know so maybe this one is also wifey approved so there you go the 3d well the max spider 3d Okay, and now we check the driver's side, so it looks like this. Now this, we are now back on the cheapest one from uh, Bielix Barton Bosch. So, okay looking. Yeah, I don't have to show too much now because we already seen it in the previous one. So there you can just, just see what it looks like. Do you like it? Can you live with it? Do you hate it? Mm. Next one is the second cheapest from uh, Gutis, the rubber. Uh, so it looks like this. Ooh, I... I actually personally don't like it here. Yeah. I don't know about you, but the whole mat just seems really cheap. And these weird dots here, does it, does it have a function? Hmm? It's, maybe it's supposed to have a function where you can uh, align, I mean, connect it better so it won't slide, but yeah. So it looks like this. Tesla floor mats look like this. Yeah, again, on this side, we have a small Tesla logo, barely visible, nice. It has these lines which um, doesn't really match any other lines uh, in this side of the car at least. Get this one, the, the waterproof textile. Mm. Okay, I'm not sure about this shape here. You know, I kind of agree now that uh, that line there is a little bit dominating once you enter the car, but it's just me, okay. So here we go. Last one on this side, the, the Max by the 3D. So it has this, yeah, this little dip here where all the water from the passenger could just brrr, go in there. Yeah. Uh, so this one does not have that dominating edge, but you can see that it has a little 
color difference well obviously because it has different texture so you might like it you might not like it uh, otherwise it's uh, pretty smooth here yeah. nice edges all over Well, let's look at the back ones then. So we have the first, the cheapest one again from Bilex pattern. Looks like this. Not too bad, I would say. Yeah, the design. So it has a small edge at least. Yeah, you see, it has a small edge. And also it covers, it has the small piece that covers here. The Tesla original, the one that comes with the car does not have this one. So this one will cover that dead spot there. Yeah but the edge is very low but i guess it works it just depends how careful the passengers are so yeah here we go next one is a rubber mats from gutis looks like this yeah so again as always i think they they look a little bit cheap but again that's just my personal opinion you might don't give a shit yeah so like this it also has it seems to have a slightly higher edge than uh, the one from Bilex button uh, and then also fortunately it covers this part but you see the difference here is that the edge goes here also from the Bilex button was an edge here which is a bit weird uh, and then you have these connecting uh, pieces here so you might like it you might not like it yeah up to you to decide Next one is the floor mats from Tesla. Yeah, looks like this. We always have these stripes going uh, with the shape, I mean, with the car. So uh, this one has, in my opinion, a little lower edge again, at least on this side, lower edge there, and then slightly higher edge there. Maybe it's just optical illusion here. Yeah, yeah, it might just be that. Uh, but this lacks that piece here. So in case we have a middle passenger, put the feet there and all also schmutz there, ah, scheiße. And then it comes in two pieces and you connect them just like this. So at least it looks nicer than the other one, which had a weird connection. So, all right. And then we have this part here, some, some design thing without anything, no function. So yeah, so now you can see what this one looks like. And then we have Gutis waterproof fabric, looks like this. So again, it has a really high edge here, you see? Whoa, but then no edge on the front there. Hmm, it might not be too big of a deal, I'm not sure. All right, and the same texture as the other ones. And this one also covers that one. Really nice design on this piece here, yeah, I like it. Uh, I could have wished that it was it had better fit uh, you see here you see that that one is a bit tight but then there's a gap here uh, and if you see here I really tried to align it correctly so I guess it has Tesla fit and finish <laughs> yeah and also it has this this uh, leather or this fake leather I'm not sure what material it is uh, which kind of gives it nice touch if you like it if you don't like it then it doesn't work for you but yeah here we go the last one is from max spider 3d okay looks like this so just like the previous one somewhat high edge here could be because you know you you have your shoes that could bump into here so you want to protect that part and then this the front here has a, a lower edge uh, but that should probably be enough because this is keep in mind that this is somewhat large so it takes a lot of water before it runs over so yeah but what i don't like is this kind of weird design here why why didn't they make just make it over there because the seat will not well actually i wonder oh you know what let's try to move the seat back see what happens ah so it actually takes in account that the seat could be moved all the way to the back but this is a weird corner case because nobody would have it like this uh, if you have your seat so far back then no one can sit behind you but let's take a look on the other side uh, what it looks like in in that case you see here so i was a little bit puzzled why this one had a gap but then it makes more sense if it's like that yeah all right let's move the feet seat well okay actually let me show you something else then so here the edge just goes here 
I wish that the edge could at least go around here. Yeah. But is that going to be a problem? At least it has this lip here, unlike Tesla. Well, Tesla is the only one that doesn't have that lip. And overall, okay, nice styling, yeah. So, looks like this. All right, and now let's take a look at the front. So we only have three options here. So the first one is from Bilex Button. Yeah, looks like this. Uh, nice looking, yeah, I would say. Uh, it's a little bit heavy, but um, uh, it's cheap. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, but uh, what I don't like is that it doesn't have an edge. So most likely, we will not put your dirty wet shoes in here, but you might put something else here that might spill water. So you don't have much margin here in case something happens. Okay, and then the next one is a Tesla. Matt, well, it's WeatherTech, so it looks like this. So this one does have that edge, a fairly high edge, yeah. In case you spill something, then it will not spill all over the car, so that's nice. Um, and then the last one, okay, is from uh, Max Spider 3D. It has a lower edge than Tesla, so it looks like this. Also kind of nice looking, similar texture, uh, and <laughs> you see this small design uh, there is that here you can see where the tow hook is <laughs> yeah um oh it also has that logo that ah oh, yeah shit but you notice that uh, under here we don't have much uh, surface to grip on but these mats they just lay more or less in place there so they won't move anywhere here so all right that's it all right the last one out is for the trunk so this one is the cheapest one from uh, Bilex button so it looks like this. Yeah, it's somewhat smaller than the other one. It has a small edge here, uh, and then just ends there, like this. Yeah, and this one is also somewhat heavy, a thick, heavy duty latex. Uh, it has this nice uh, design here, so you can grab the hook here and open the space under the trunk, so that's nice. Yeah, it goes uh, let me see, wait, is it, is it in there? Let me just check here, did it move? No, it's, it's in there, okay, it's in there. So, just like the, the other ones, it has these non-slip uh, dots here. So, it's nice looking, but uh, let's try the other ones then. Oh, this is from uh, Tesla uh, or uh, WeatherTech. So, it had a significantly higher edge here, this is nice. So, uh, you see, the, the WeatherTech mats, they are really designed for Nordic win winter. So you have a high edge there. So like I mentioned, you know, the, the ones inside the car is not from WeatherTech, but all the WeatherTech mats are like this. I like it, yeah. You can spill a lot of water in here and it will still not pour over. So that's good. Uh, and here you have this one. It's slightly harder to access. Ooh. So you have to do it like this and then you can open on the here. So, then it closes like that, so, oh yeah, okay, good, good, good. Last one is from Max by the 3D, looks like this. Hmm, so, it actually took a while for me to fit it, because it also has this non-slip surface under here, which grips like crazy on that surface. Uh, but when you see this one from Tesla, it doesn't have those velcros so this one will slide actually it's easier to slide in place and really it it won't move anywhere if you have even if you have that one but okay let's take a look at this one again so it also has a 3d logo there yes with the plastic over it and uh, those this one also covers actually it seems like this one covers the most yeah of these three so it covers the whole trunk all of it is covered and also has a nice edge. You see there what I mentioned, it's a little bit hard for me to, to squeeze it in perfectly. But if even if you have some accident in here, you will still not spill anywhere. Yeah, it can take a lot of water, so that's good. And uh, this one, okay, you just have to tuck it in place. Um, and I like this one, it's easier to access. Maybe not as easy as the first one from, uh, from Bilex button, but still okay. <coughs> uh, but you see, it has this little edge there here so it falls easier yeah seems like they design it so it will you can easily open the, the bottom here so but on the other hand uh, when I tested these other two they don't really have any problems bending that part anyway so uh, it kind of looks a little bit weird uh, the design here versus the two other ones but okay 
fair enough. Good, good, good. Okay, the last part of the test is to see how well these uh, mats can repel water and how easy it is to dry them out. So we have just a little bit of water here. Now let's pour it on and see what happens. So let's start with the cheapest one. This is from Bilex Button. Yeah, just pour it in. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, as expected when you have rubber surface. Okay, and then let's try the second one. This one, which is uh, from Gutis, the rubber from Gutis, as expected. Just like that, all right. And then hmm, I need more water. Hmm, all right, I fill the cup. Now let's try it on the Tesla mats. Yeah, as expected. Well, hmm. It seems to soak the water more than the other ones, okay. And then, Gutis fabric, oh, this one will be interesting. They say it's water repellent. Whoa, whoa, but I can not see that it, it also soaks some of the water in there. Huh. And then the last one is the Max by the 3D, I'm running out of water. Yeah, okay, you know what, let's just, let's just try to soak this now, yeah. So. Let's give it a little bit of run with a hose. I have it here between my legs, like this. So let's try to soak this and then see how easy they dry afterwards. This is really corner case. Normally you wouldn't soak them like this, but just for the sake of the test. Oh, there is, ooh, look, look, a rainbow. Oh, cool. We are making a rainbow. We're making gold. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, this one has some droplets. That one has some droplets. Tesla seem to just absorb them in a weird way huh okay maybe there is no um, no hydrophobic uh, surface on it yeah let's try this one again soak it a little bit more okay wow that's just really bad on this one okay and then the max by the 3d yeah same one there try to soak it whoa how to say this one seems to repel the water better than Gutis. You see, this one, the rubber ones are acting as expected, but the Gutis seems to, uh, it seems to absorb the water, which is not what you want. So it has more or less the same um, characteristics as a regular uh, uh, fabric. Whoa, okay. Now let's try to dry them then. Yeah, soak this a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and now I'm going to try to dry it with a leaf blower. Yes, it's a 36 volt lithium leaf blower from Cocraft. It's really noisy, so I'm not sure how much you will hear once I start it, but uh, you will just get an idea again. Okay, let's start with the cheap one then, okay. One, two, three, noise. That went pretty smooth. Okay, second one. The cheap, next, the cheap. Oh, as expected, the rubber mats they clear really fast. Wow, look at that. Okay, now let's try the Tesla then. Okay. Oh, not that fast. Okay. Still okay. Still fairly fast. Yeah. But you see, it takes longer. So we still have some surface water there. This one is almost gone. This one is also almost gone. This is impressive that the cheapest one can repel water that great. All right, now we have this and that one. Let's clean, let's move things a little bit here. All right, let's see what happens when we blast the, the Gutis so-called waterproof. Wow, wow, okay. So this one was supposed to be waterproof, but there's lots of water here. It's, this is, it feels almost like a regular fabric. Uh, whoa. So how do you actually get rid of the water now once it's wet? I guess I have to dry it. So yeah, good is they claim that this is waterproof, 
and water repellent but we can see on the test here that it didn't really repel the water much at all it's now it's soaking i mean now it's running off like like a sponge more or less yeah and if i do like this oh yes lots of water here huh okay now let's try the last one then the max spider 3d okay whoa <laughs> what the heck huh yeah okay wow wow okay let's just push it out push it out oh this is pretty fun i can do this all day maybe we should go on the other side because it's a slope like that okay let's do it like this wow Okay, I think that's enough. Let's let's inspect now. So the surface here is more or less dry. There's a little bit. So I mean, for the best repellent, you want the pure, the pure, the smooth one, like the the cheap ones over there. Yeah. But still, overall, this seems to be really good when it comes to repelling water. Yeah. All right. Let's try to summarize today. So. Uh, I will try to rank these five sets based on my preferences. Um, so uh, the fifth place, the worst one, is actually this. Yes, it's Gutis, uh, the, the fabric one. And uh, why do I rank this as the lowest? Because it doesn't, it doesn't repel the water, it absorbs it. So to me, that's not good enough. Yeah, and it's also very expensive, but it, do, it does have that nice edge and does have nice design. And it has this, this one here, ooh, which is really durable. But because it doesn't uh, repel water, then to me, that's not good. Uh, you might disagree with me, that's fine, all right. And then on fourth place, I will rank the other Gutis, uh, the, the rubber one. Now that one will repel water, uh, but to me, uh, it looks really cheap. So I also value design a little bit here, yeah. And, and it lacks that edge. So that one comes in the fourth place. And then on third place, we have the Tesla mats. So uh, the reason why I rank the Tesla mats uh, somewhat low is because it lacks that edge, but also for the passengers in the back, it doesn't have that extra lip to cover that, that part, you know, under the center console. And it's also slightly more expensive than the, the cheaper one. So yeah, Tesla comes on third. Nice design though. And then on second place, we have from Bilex pattern. Yes, I like the design. It's also very cheap and you see that it repels water. It lacks that edge though. So uh, not very good lacking that edge, uh, but we don't have many uh, sets here that has the edge. Uh, so, okay, that one comes on a uh, second and that means that the, the number one is this one. Huh, huh. There, yes, the Max Spider 3D. It's the most expensive one, of course, but if you can afford a Tesla, you can afford the most expensive floor mats, right? So I think it has a cool design. I don't like that one, but it repels water. It has the edge. Uh, and also this one, I can get the full set for the trunk. Uh, some of the other ones does not cover that. So then you have to mix it. But here you get a full set with the same design all over the place. So this is the best shit. Yes, Tesla Bjorn approved. So anyway, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.